Sir, when are you going to do deliverance for me? What deliverance? I am not doing any deliverance for you, because Jesus has already delivered you. But I thought the next thing after salvation is deliverance. Salvation itself is deliverance. I am confused, sir. This was not what I was taught in my former church. You have been taught wrongly. How I wish many churches can just teach the Bible and the Bible alone, and not their experiences or what they feel. I am getting more confused, sir. How can you say my pastor taught me wrongly? I think that's an insult. Any teaching not in line with the Word of God is wrong. It doesn't matter who teaches it. Then you have to show me from the Word of God that I don't need deliverance. Sure. Firstly, let me ask you a question, what does it mean to be saved? It means to be born again. You are correct, but let me shed more light on it. To be saved means to accept the deliverance that Jesus brought. I know you would ask what deliverance. Yes, I was about to ask. The deliverance Jesus brought is salvation from sin and its consequences. Satan, curses, sicknesses has power over you when there is sin. But the moment sin is taken away, curses, and the rest have no more power over you. And that is exactly what Jesus came to do. He came to take away the sins of the world. So the moment you receive his salvation, then your sins are taken away. So are you saying curses don't have power over Christians? Exactly. The power of a curse is sin. And Jesus came to take away our sins. So if you become born again, then curses has lost its power over you. It can't work on you. But I know Christians whose lives are greatly affected by curses. The reason their lives are greatly affected by curses is because they are ignorant of what Jesus has done for them. Or they have been wrongly taught, and so they are fighting hard to defeat the curse. But you see, the only thing strong enough to break any curse is the blood of Jesus. So you are saying if I have understanding of what Jesus has done for me, and I walk in this understanding, then curses would have no power over me. Exactly. But what about Christians that are being oppressed by the devil? Their problem is still the same. It is ignorance. Christians need to learn and understand the authority they have over Satan and his cohorts. Ignorance of this authority would lead to Satan taking advantage of them, and even oppressing them. This is very deep, sir. Yeah. Let me conclude by saying this, a Christian doesn't need deliverance, all he needs is revelation of what Christ has done for him, and to work in this revelation. This is very powerful. I need to go and tell everyone in my former church this truth.